The background's not super cute. I zoom in. You okay? Yeah, no, I just can't. <laughs> Are we recording? Okay, guys. Hello. Welcome to this. As you guys might know, we're having a baby. And this is our fourth baby. I just turned 31. And I just turned 29. <laughs> We already have three. Our oldest just turned seven. Yeah. We were, what, 22 and 23 when we had him. Yes. And so, if you didn't know, that's what most people would consider pretty young to be having, like, your first yeah. kid. Like, we were both still in school. Yeah. Whenever we talk about this with other people, whenever people see me pregnant, they think it's my first baby, I tell them it's my fourth. We get a lot of reaction from this. And it's usually very positive. I'm not trying to, like, hate on people who react because it's fine. It is kind of crazy. Yeah, even we recognize that it's kind of crazy. Yeah, so I wanted to make this video kind of explaining uh, our lives, what we love about our life, getting married in our 20s, and having lots of kids in our 20s. So some, what is it called? Like what you say before. Uh, disclaimer? Yeah, some disclaimers. We found each other when we were really young. We got married really young. And so obviously, if you find the love of your life, it would be so much. <laughs> when you find it. The one. The one. So early in your life, it gives you a lot more time to think and prepare and have kids and all that. Um, so we were lucky to, to get married really young. Also, we're not trying to hate on people who get married later or decide to have kids later. Honestly, like if people are getting married and having kids, like I'm just excited because kids are the best and I want people to keep having babies. So the most basic and most important thing for me, a lot of people use the excuse of your 20s is for partying and for finding yourself and for exploring exploring and doing your own thing. But for me, my whole perspective all growing up was that family is the most important thing. Like no matter what happens, what your career is, no matter how many countries you visit, no matter what you get to explore and see, if you don't have a family at the end of your life, I feel like that would be super disappointing. And so I just knew early on that I wanted to make family a big priority. And so all growing up, we both knew we wanted to get married ASAP yeah. <laughs> and, and start your family. We both came from big families. We both have five kids in each of our mm -hmm. families. So that was another thing. We didn't yeah. grow up thinking like five kids was this crazy big number. One of the myths out there is that you can't have fun like after you have kids. You have kids and the fun is gone. Let us tell you what we've done since we've been married and had kids. Really so. quick, can I? <laughs> we went to New York as a couple with another couple friend. We went to Asia for 10 days uh, after, right after I had our third baby. What else have we done by ourselves? We went to Disneyland. Uh, we just got back from a trip to Vegas. We love traveling and we haven't stopped traveling just because we've had kids. Things we've done with our kids, the biggest thing is last summer we went to Europe for a month. Yeah. Guys, we took three kids to Europe for all, and like 30 days and we visited like five different countries. Three kids isn't that crazy. The crazy part is that they were six, four, and like one and a half. Yeah. Yeah, one and a half. And it was, it was crazy. It was a lot of like, you know, logistical challenges and stuff, but if you have the mindset that like kids don't slow you down and you can yeah. still live your life and have fun with them, you can have fun with them. I just feel like people have this weird idea that kids are like, Kids come in your they life. They suck ends. your fun out of your life when in reality they just like pump it full of life. Yeah. Guys. It, so, yeah, don't think that you can't have fun after you have kids because we have plenty of fun. And there are definite challenges with like having to like babysitters, out babysitters and stuff like that. But, but like, this just, leads me into the next point is that because we're so young having kids, our parents are still young too. Our parents are in their 50s and barely in their 60s. And they're happy to babysit still. They're they're young. They're enough. still young and excited to hang out with our with their grandkids. In that same vein, you're young, you're a young parent, you will be a young empty nester. So what we're looking forward to is when like say we have one more kid. After this one? After this one. He'll be School. eighteen in like twenty forty. And at that time I'll be 52 and you'll be like 50. Yeah. That sounds Before like then, that's really old, but like that's pretty young. Yeah. To still be able to like do a lot well, of Well, and even stuff. still, they'll be in, they'll start school. My youngest would have started kindergarten by the time I'm like 36. Yeah. Which leads me into my next point <laughs> <laughs> that even though I may not be building up a, a cool, awesome, like well rounded career right now in my 20s, by I'll be done kids having kids earlier. by the time I'm 32. Like by the time I'm 32, I'll be done. Yeah. Are you mad about this? <laughs> the way you're saying it, it's like, like you're mad. Uh, I'm fired up about it. But the whole point, yeah, you can either wait 
have kids and then you have kids when you're older or you can have them really early and then you have all yeah. the, your whole life after they're kind of like grown up. I don't know where we're at in my list, but I have a lot of friends who have struggled with infertility. And if you start trying to have kids when you're younger, then even if you have four or five years of struggles with infertility, you'll still be at a, a good age when and if and when you figure it out. I was texting some of my girlfriends about it and some of them said that like, yeah, it took us a couple years to get pregnant. Glad we started early so that we could like, you know, get that taken care of and and still have the time that we need to have the kids that we want. By other means or by like, what do you? They, like? yeah, well they went, a lot of them went through fertility treatments, but then some of them also adopted, so. Yeah, so Tara was reading a list that was like, why you shouldn't have kids when you're younger. And she was like, cause in your 20s, this is your party body. You gotta, you know, you gotta get out there while you still have your, your party yeah. body. Yeah, so it's interesting. People can just explain it however they want to. Some people think it's your party body and some people like me look at it as, this is my most energized decade and I'm gonna need it in order to take care of these crazy kids. For one, you don't need as much sleep in your 20s. This is fact. Now this is just a bunch of stuff that I found online and that I feel as, as a 20s person. And I'm not in my 30s yet, but I was talking to my other friends who said they've had babies in their 20s and their 30s and then they definitely felt better in their 20s. They recovered better in their 20s. I've, and like, Disclaimer, like, I'm just a super healthy person, not necessarily like physically and food wise, but like, like you're, you're super I'm just really good at having babies. Yeah. Like my body is, just does babies I, really good. And I, I know like all women's bodies are different. For me, having babies in my 20s has been great. My stomach has gone back to normal afterwards for the most part. And I'm one out of like a million people who hasn't gotten stretch marks from my pregnancies. So that's a possibility. I know we hear a lot about stretch marks. I have not had stretch marks yet. And yeah, now I just ruined it. This baby's gonna give me stretch marks. <laughs> Another negative that a lot of people say about having kids in your 20s is that you're not mature enough yet, that you're not sure of yourself enough yet. I really don't like that thought that that you're not mature enough yet. I, I, I've loved being married to Zach for nine years, almost nine years, and we kind of grew up together a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you think you're kind of old and smart when you're that age, but we really were babies. We like barely knew each other. Yeah, we barely knew each other. <laughs> it wasn't like an arranged marriage or anything. Like no. we, thought, we thought we knew, but We like, knew what we needed to know about each other, yeah. but we've learned so much about each other in this time, especially with having kids. And that's been um, a little bit different is that we've grown up individually and as a couple in our 20s. And that's been really and cool. And as a family, yep. As far as finances go, we were poor college students and we had to work our way through career stuff and money situations and we did all of that with young kids. If you have kids when you're young and already poor <laughs> when you have yeah. kids, it's not like that big of a shock because yeah. you, you already didn't really have anything as opposed to, yeah. same, same with like, developing all these habits and then getting married when you're older. It's mm -hmm. like if you develop this whole like lifestyle of just you and your spouse and then 10, 15 years into it, then you decide you want to have a kid, like that's going to be a Big jarring yeah. yeah, experience to try to be like adjust your whole life that's that you've established to like now accommodate this yeah. tiny human. Yeah. And so just if you don't know any better, like it's not yeah. really that big of a deal. Like I said before, kids are amazing whether you're young, whether you're old, whether anything like you just having kids in your life makes you learn so much and be a better person that's it it's just you don't know what it's like to have your kids here until you have kids and that's just hard to explain and hard to understand once you start adding to your family you're just going to think like why, did why we didn't we why did we wait so yeah this is our take on getting married young meaning early 20s and having kids in your early 20s or even in your 20s at all um, we have loved it. We've had a great experience. We've had healthy kids. I've been healthy throughout. Um, we know everyone's experience is different. Not everyone can find their spouse or have the opportunity to have kids in their 20s. I just wanted to give you guys a little perspective that you maybe haven't heard of before, that you maybe didn't realize is an option or a good option. And we are here to tell you that we love our three kids. We're so excited for baby number four, possibly more babies after that. Um, and it's just, it's awesome and it's beautiful and it's not, it's not that crazy. If you guys feel like you love kids and you want to have a big family, but maybe you don't know anybody that has more than one or two kids, 
now you know one. And is it totally crazy? We're yeah, not like I'm not totally crazy. We still have fun and we still love each other. <laughs> so that's good too. So thanks for watching guys. There are still no comments available on my channel. Still haven't figured that out. So head over to Instagram. Let me know what you guys think. And I look forward to hearing from you guys always because I love all your comments. Bye. That's all we have for you. So see you next week. <laughs> Ugh, so awkward. Why? I don't know why. Okay, now I gotta get off the couch. Okay, thanks for watching guys. If you don't agree with anything we say, that's okay. We just wanted to put our perspective out there. And we did, so. See ya.